guys welcome to another training section on age fashion up my name is abby solan on today's class i'm going to teach you guys on how to cut a simple office skirt with one side pleating so if you are new to our channel kindly like and subscribe welcome to the practical aspects so these are the materials i'm going to use i'm using i'm making use of this brown paper my measurement tape the scissors i'm going to use in cutting then the ruler I'm going to that is going to assist me in my drawing and the pencil that I'm going to use for the drawing. So I'm making use of this of measurements for the cutting of the skirt. So I'm going to start. This brown paper for the cutting. So I've already folded into two. So I have to fold again since our folding used to be four for the cutting of the skirt. So, if you are making use of fabric, this is how you are going to fold it also. And make sure that the folding is equal. So, then you can start from the center here. So, we start with our waist measurement. So, my waist is 26 divided by 2 plus, uh, sorry, divided by 4 plus 2, that is 8.5. Then for my skirts, I will go down by 7 inches. Then for this side, I'll measure for my hips. My hips is 30 divided by 2. So divided by 4 plus 2, that is 9 and a half. So, then my skirt half a band at the top. So for my band, I'm going to make use of 3 inches. That means for my skirt length of 25 inches, I'm going to minus 3 inches from it. So I'll count upward 1, 2, 3, that is 22. So on this side, I'm going to add sewing allowance of 1 inches. So I'll make it 23. You can decide that it depends on how you want the seam of the skirt to be at the damp part. So you can make use of 2 inches sewing allowance. Now me half inches for the journey of the band at the top here, then one and a half inch, one half and um, one and a half inch that inches that remain can be for the seam allowance. So I'm going to mark at the end of this side for my skirt length. So this for my skirt length. So I want my skirt to be fitted at the knee side. So from that angle, I can decide it to come up. By eight inches for my new so you can not you can see that on my hips here yeah, i make use of nine and a half so i want to shape for my knee so i'm going to reduce my measurements by half inches half inch i'm making use of nine in this aspect so after that i'm going to connect the lines together for easy cutting so for my waist to my hips, to my hips, to my nail line. That is, give me the shape that I want. So after the whole connection, this is how it's going to look like. So the next thing is for us to just cut it out. Don't cut it. You can see this is how it's going to bring out the shape of the skirt. So after the cutting, you can open the skirt. So this is how it's going to look like. For people that are not using stretchy material, so if you want to add your zip, you can use it that you can add your zip at the side of the skirt. Then for the band aspect, so you can decide that you do not want your band to have two joints, like a joint at this side and a joint at this side. So what is going to happen is that after the journey of one particular side, maybe this side or the other side, you can leave one inches before the end of this place you can leave like one inches like this so for that band i've told you that i'm making use of three inches for the joining of my band so you can still make use of this like what are the damp parts for the joining so if you are making use of single folding like this so it will be advisable like after the journey of it like this, you can take it to the 
weaving machine so that you're able to weave the joining outside for to keep the rough side but if you are making use of this double like this um particular length so it's going to be double so that means this is three and uh, this is four inches size with the sewing allowance so you can just make something of eight inches and just fold it into two like this so that so this is how it's going to look like just have to fold into two and place it around till know that we said it's going to it's not going to have journey so you can see that this is where it laps and that means it has to come again like this so we're done folding then after the folding since we have already joined this sign what you just have to do just start your sewing from this aspect like this so you start from here like this then you begin to sew you have to sew it around you can see you sew it around you sew it around you can see it's more than my waist so you just have to sew it around this is how it's going to look like you just have to sew it around after the sewing with the hairs that remain i just decided to cut it out like this so you can see then after the sewing, just turn it up. So this is how it's going to look at the outer part after the sewing of the skirt. So you can just take this part to the weaving machine and weave it so that it will just make the skirt to look more neater. So that's that's for the man. So for the side, for the pleating side, what you just have to do is before you can put this band, so you have to take the the fabric that you want to use for the pleating side but if you check this style you can see that the pleating that they use uh, it has like three inches longer on the body of the skirt but since i'm making use of a uh, brown paper for illustration so i will be able to use that um that kind of uh, brown paper that will be enough but for you if you want to bring out your you can just cut uh, half of this skirt side like something like this half of the skirt side so but the length will be longer than the skirt so it's uh you can add three inches to the length of it so after adding the three inches what you just do that you can just place it you just remove the front from the back like this move the front from the back so this for the front now just have to place it on it at this side then you start um making your pleating maybe it is one one inches that you want or you want it to be one and a half it depends on the wideness of the pleating on so you just have to pleat this way you have to pleat like this you can see how the pleating is going just have to pleat have to fit to the down part like this okay add the fitting as well as this so just have to fit then you pleat to your desire whiteness you pleat to your desire length so for i'm just making an illustration so i'm not going to fit much like that with the using of the paper so this side will actually go along with the sewing aspect why this side of the pleating you have already been sewn so that it's going to keep the rough at the edge of the clothing so you have to use the machine to sew it and so this is how it's going to be mind you if you want it to be of the same length as your skirt but if you want it to be longer than the skirt you can just add like five inches or three inches to the length of this for the Placing aspect then after then just take your back to the normal back measurement then you can see so just place your band on it and sew up so if, if you are using uh no stretching material so you can just add your zip to the side of the skirt on which side are you prefer that you want to add your zip but we are using a stretch material that doesn't necessary to add the zip and just leave it like that and 
in the band. We've come to the end of today's class. I was able to give an illustration on how to cut a simple office skirt with side plating. So if you are new to our channel, please kindly like and subscribe. And to our subscribers, thanks for watching my video. And there is an opportunity at Age Fashion Hub where there is a lot that is going on on fashion designer. That is free fashion designer training. So if you want to join, you can click on the link below. So thank you very much, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.